light. I mean, you can't just shoot into people's houses. I mean, maybe you shot the guy. What if it did? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's pretty severe. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Hey, blanks get the job done, too. You repo, man, man. You guys are all out to fucking lunch. Let's get out of here. Repo Man was a cult film. And that film has something to do with my character a bit, too. Uh, I just came back from New York doing a film called Nocturna, and I was one of the leads. Uh, I get a call from a young lady named Victoria Thomas. She was a, a college student at uh, UCLA. And she said a casting director told her about me, and she needed an, uh, an extra to be in this student film she was doing. And so she wanted to know if I would come in and be in the background. And I told her, sure. You know, I had never done background before. And uh, the guy that was in this lead film with me in Nocturna, he couldn't work one day because he had to be a background in a soap opera in New York. And I asked him why. And he says, because I'm an actor. So mm -hmm. when she asked me that, I said, sure. So I went in. When I got there, one of the guys who was supposed to do this part didn't show up. So she told me to improv it. So I improv it. Well, there were two students there that were studying to be directors. Uh, one was named Alex Cox, and another one was named Charles Burnett. Well, after we finished this student film, about three months later, I got a phone call from Alex Cox and a phone call from Charles Burnett. I ended up doing seven films for Charles Burnett, I mean, for Alex Cox, and I did three films for Charles Burnett. So if I hadn't have done that extra role, I wouldn't have never got the films I had, and I would never be considered a cult hero because Repo Man is one of the top cult, cult films in the world. Don't call me Corey Baker, call me Marco Paz, cause I'm not Julius son like I was before. Don't call me Corey Baker, call me Marco Paz.